right. First up, gather all your ingredients. That includes baking soda, cornstarch, citric acid, food coloring, oil and water, Epsom salt, measuring cup or tools, a big bowl, a whisk, a tablespoon, a mold, essential oil, and glitter is optional. First, gather a mixing bowl. Next, gather a whisk and some baking soda. Some cornstarch and citric acid and food coloring of your choice and some glitter and some essential oil. A measuring cup and a container and some Epsom salt water oil and a spoon first we're going to start by pouring half a cup of baking soda into the measuring cup and then we're going to pour it into our mixing bowl next we're going to do one fourth of a cup of epsom salt of your choice and we're going to pour it into the mixing bowl as well. Now we're going to do one fourth of cornstarch. And pour it in as well. Or not. There you go. Now we're going to do one fourth of a cup of citric acid. And you're going to put them into your bowl as well. Next, you're going to mix your dry ingredients. In a separate container, you will add one tablespoon of castor oil. Then you will add one tablespoon of essential oil. Following, you will add food coloring of your choice. And lastly, you will add one tablespoon of water and mix thoroughly. Now you want to mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients, little by little, so the solution won't activate. Start mixing it with a whisk and then proceed with your hands. Grab your mold or container, whichever you prefer, and press the mixture well so you can compact it tightly. Now you can add your glitter or whatever you choose to put inside of it. Finally, you will place it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Finally, your bath bomb is now ready for you to take a relaxing bath and enjoy the show.